Hello, my dear students. In this video, ipapakita natin ang relation of roots and coefficients of quadratic equations. We will explain kung bakit ang sum of roots is equal to negative b over a. We will also explain kung bakit ang product of roots is equal to c over a. And we will show examples on how to derive the equation of a quadratic equation given the roots. So please stay tuned in. And now, let's derive for the formula for the sum of roots. From the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, so this one, the roots are negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Notice that uh, in the roots, we considered the plus or minus from our quadratic formula here, plus or minus, individually. So, plus muna, then minus. Then, we add the roots. So, when we add the roots, of course, negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a plus negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And since they are similar fractions, as you can see, they have the same denominators, so we can just combine them in one fraction. So ito siya. Negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and plus negative b so itong negative b na yan galing doon minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and as you notice ito si square root of b squared minus 4ac has an opposite operation with negative square root of b squared minus 4ac. So we can subtract them and consequently cancel out because they are equal. Then, since na cancel na silang dalawa, so ang magiging result na lang ay ito. Negative 2b all over 2a. Saan galing? Siyempre, galing dito sa negative b plus negative b. So, negative 2b. And, we just copied the common denominator 2a. So, here. And, since 2 or negative 2 can be divided by 2, but the result is negative 1, then we could simplify our operation as negative b over a, which is the sum of the roots. Okay, so bago tayo dumako sa product of roots, i-review ko muna sa inyo itong the difference of two squares. Kasi ito yung prerequisite knowledge na kailangan natin. So, the difference of two squares or dots is the result when you multiply two binomials having opposite operations. As you can see in our example, ang first binomial natin ay x plus y, ang second binomial natin ay x minus y. So, ang pagkakaiba lang nila ay yung operation dito sa so first uh, binomial plus sa second binomial is minus. So, if you multiply them using uh, foil, first outer inner last, so first terms, ayan, x times x, we have x squared, then 
dun. Outer terms. So, negative xy because x times y or x times negative y is negative xy. And inner terms, y times x, so xy. And last terms, so negative y squared because y times negative y equals negative y squared. And therefore, we get, uh, since opposite yung operations nitong dalawang similar terms, then you cancel them out now. So, ang natitirang mga terms ay x squared, which is ito na, minus y squared, which is ito na. So, difference of two squares. Ang result, kapag multiply mo yung dalawang binomials, na pareho yung mga terms, pero opposite yung operations. So, yan ang gagamitan natin dito sa next part. And now, here we are on uh, deriving the formula for the product of roots. Now, when we say product, of course, it's the result of multiplication. So, we will, we will multiply the roots. So, from the quadratic formula pa rin, na x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, we get the roots na negative b plus, so plus, galing dito sa plus na yan, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if we multiply the roots, we get this. So, negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is a binomial, multiplied by another binomial, which is negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, wherein they have opposite, opposite uh, operations. So, minus and plus, or plus dito, minus doon. So, gamitin nyo lang yung uh, review natin kanina na dots. Dots. So, in the dots, di ba, it's just the square of the first term. Ito, first term. So, square mo yung negative b. Or negative b times negative b becomes b squared. Ayan siya. And square mo yung last term. So, ito. Square mo to. Then, ito na yung result. Ayan. Ayan. So, now, uh, since uh, the square root and the uh, square are opposites, they can cancel each other out. And the result now is ito. So, b squared galing pa rin dito minus uh, quantity b squared minus 4ac. Notice na wala na yung square root sign and yung square all over 4a squared which is equal to by removing the uh, symbols of uh, grouping which is the parenthesis in this case and distributing the negative sign to all the terms inside the parenthesis you get negative times b squared is negative b squared so ito na and negative times negative 4ac becomes positive 4ac and since b squared minus b squared will cancel each other out, so ito, b squared minus b squared is 0, cancel na. So ang may iwan na lang sa fraction ay 4ac all over 4a squared. And since 4 divided by 4 is 1, so cancel na rin yan. And a divided by a squared is as good as cancelled na yung square. Then, ang may iwan na lang ay c over a. So, c over a is the formula 
for the product of roots. So in this part naman, ipapagita natin kung paano i-derive yung quadratic equation kapag given ang kanyang mga roots no? without uh, actually multiplying the roots but it's just a matter of using the sum and product of roots. So let's go. From the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 which is the standard form. Let's uh, divide all terms by a. So, magiging ganito. Na divide lahat sa a. Then, after dividing all terms by a, we get x squared plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0. So, notice na cb over a is the negative of the sum of roots while cc over a is the product of roots. Now, relating this into the sum and product of roots, we get x squared minus negative bx over a plus c over a equals 0. So, remember na si negative b over a is the sum of roots and cc over a is the product of roots. So, maintaining the positive sign or the plus operation here, that's why ni negative natin si sum of roots. So, minus negative. Minus times negative is positive mula dito. Yeah. So, Without much ado, then x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals 0. So, ito yung formula sa pagkuha ng equation, ng quadratic equation, kapag given ang roots. Okay, now let's show some examples here. Without solving for the solutions of the quadratic equation 4x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0, find the sum and product of its roots. So, for the sum, its uh, formula is negative b over a. So, mula sa ating uh, equation, ang b niya ay 2. That's why it's negative 2 over a. So, ang a niya ay 4. So, negative 2 fourth, but we have to simplify it into its lowest term. So, that's negative 1 half. So, the sum is negative 1 half. Next, for the product of roots, so, product is c over a equals its c is negative 5 and its a is 4. So, hindi na masimplify yan sa kanyang lowest term. So, that's it. Negative 5 fourth ang product. Sum is negative 1 half. Let's consider another example here. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are negative 3 and 4. So, from our... Uh, formula x squared minus the sum of roots, so sum times x plus product of roots, so plus product equals 0. We will just uh, substitute. So the sum is the sum of negative 3 and 4. x plus product, so the product of negative 3, oops, I see natin si negative 3, so negative 
negative 3 and 4 equals 0 equals 0 so x squared minus uh, negative 3 plus 4 is 1 so 1x or simply x plus or minus negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 equals 0 so this is now the equation given the roots negative 3 and 4 next find the quadratic uh, equation whose roots are negative 3 4 and 7 so mula pa rin sa ating working formula na x squared minus sum of the roots times x plus product equals 0 then mag substitute lang tayo x squared dyan pa rin, minus yung sum ng roots since ang roots natin ay negative 3 4 and 7 then negative 3 4 plus 7 so ito times x yun plus negative 3 4 times 7 equals 0 now c 7 Gawin natin fraction 7 over 1. Kasi later on, hahanapan natin silang dalawa, si negative 3 fourth and 7 over 1 ng least common denominator. Of course, itong multiplication na 3 fourth times 7 over 1, no need to find the LCD. So, 3 fourth and 7 over 1, of course, the least common denominator is 4. So, yung ganito na. x squared minus negative uh, quantity negative 3 fourth plus 28 over 4. So, as you can see, they have the least common denominator na 4. Si 7 over 1 ay naging 28 over 4. Because 28 over 4 is still 7. Times x here plus bucket 21 over 4 or negative 21 over 4 because 3 times 7 here is negative 21 or negative 3 4 times 7 over 1 4 times 1 is 4 equals 0 again continuing the process we have x squared minus 25 over 4x minus 21 over 4. Because uh, negative 3 here plus 28 here is 25. So, ito. And copying the common denominator, which is 4. So, 25 over 4. Yun. Minus 21 over 4 because plus minus and continuing the process again we have uh, denominators no, in our linear term and constant term here so to eliminate the denominator we have to multiply the whole equation by the least common or the least common denominator which is in this case 4 so we have to multiply the whole equation by 4 that's why we have this 4 times x 4 times 25 over 4 x 4 times 21 over 4 and 4 times 0 but 4 times x squared is 4x squared here 4 times 25 over 4x it's as good as cancel na yung 4 4 times 21 over 4 as good as cancel na rin yung 4 so 21 na lang na iwan 4 times 0 so 0 pa rin that's why our equation, given the roots 
negative 3 fourth and 7 is 4x squared minus 25x minus 21 equals 0. Okay, so pang example, find the quadratic equation whose roots are 3 fourth and 2 third. So uh, notice that the roots here are fractions. So we have to add and multiply fractions again. From our working formula that you have to get the sum here and the product of roots dito. So we have to add, uh, we have to find x squared minus quantity 3 fourth plus 2 third quantity x. This one plus 3 fourth times 2 third equals 0. Again, you have to find the least common denominator of the fractions when you add them. So, since the denominators here are three, four, uh, 4 and 3, dito, so ang LCD nila ay 12. So, ito na. Now, you have to transform 3 fourth in such a way na magiging 12 na yung bagong denominator niya. Okay, so ganito. 12 divided by 4, dito is 3, then you multiply nyo sa 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, so ito yon 9, plus 12, again, dito, 12, yung bagong denominator, divided by 3, yung old na fraction, times 2, so here, equals 8. Ayan, 8. Then, of course, since it's a delinear term, do not forget x. Plus, you multiply the fractions, 3 fourth and 2 third. So, considering the numerators, 3 times 2, 3 times 2 becomes 6, and 4 times 3 becomes 12. Yun. And simplifying further, we have now here x squared, x squared minus because 9 plus 8 is 17, then it's 17 over 12, then x plus 6 over 12 equals 0. Okay, continuing, we have to eliminate the denominators in the terms, in the linear term and in the constant term. So, again, uh, we have to multiply the whole equation by the LCD or the least common denominator of the existing fractions. And in this case, the LCD is 12. So, we have to multiply them all by 12. And uh, distributing 12 to all the terms inside the parentheses. So, dito. At doon, then we will have a result of 12 times x squared here is 12x squared. Then 12 times negative 17 over 12. So it's as good as cancelled na si 12 dito. So 17 na lang or negative 17x. And 12 times 6 over 12, then as good as cancelled na rin si 12 sa denominator niya. So, the remaining part is 6. So, ito. Equals 12 times 0. This one, 12 times 0 is 0. So, therefore, our equation or quadratic equation having the roots of 3 fourth and 2 third is 12x squared minus 17x plus 26, uh, plus 6, sorry, equals 0. Okay, now let's solve a typical problem involving the sum and product of roots. Mang Juan owns a rectangular lot. The perimeter of the lot is 54 meters and the area is 180 square meters. Using the concept of the sum and product of roots of a quadratic equation, find the length and width of the lot. So, since it's a rectangular lot, then i-represent natin siya sa drawing ng isang rectangle. And 
alam natin na ang area is length times width. So, using the concept of sum and product, ito na ang product niya. And the perimeter is twice the sum of the length times width. Since ang definition kasi ng perimeter is the sum of all the dimensions, so the tigda dalawang length and tigda dalawang width, that's why twice length and twice the sum of length and width. Now, using the concept of sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation, then gagawa lang tayo ng sum, length plus width, pero si 2, eliminate na natin, so mapupunta na siya dun sa denominator ng P. Or, ganito. I-divide natin lahat sa 2, yung buong equation involving perimeter. So, divide natin lahat sa 2 para ma-eliminate natin si 2 as coefficient ng length plus width. So, magiging length plus width is equal to perimeter over 2. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin para sa sum naman. Ayan. And now, using the concept of sum and product formula, so let x be the dimensions and uh, x squared minus sum of the dimensions times x plus product of dimensions. So, continue. So, x squared minus the sum of the dimensions from our uh, previous uh, derive equation p over 2. So, ito na yun, p over 2, which is the length plus width plus the product of the dimensions. So, ito na yun, area, which is length times width in this case. Continue. So, we have x squared minus, since ang perimeter natin ay 54, so 54 over 2. And ang area natin is 180, so, ito siya equals 0. And, since 54 over 2 is 27, and i-rewrite lang natin si 180, so, ito na yung bagong quadratic equation natin. So, I suppose this is uh, solvable by factoring. So, gawa tayo ng factoring. Think of two numbers where the sum is negative 27 and the product is 180 so it's 12 or negative 12 and negative 15 so ang factors nito is x minus 12 times x minus 15 and continue therefore by zero product property so ang x sub 1 natin ay 12 at ang x sub 2 natin ay 15 which are the dimensions. Of course, the longer dimension is the length and the shorter dimension is the width. Therefore, our answer is 12 meters and 15 meters for width and length respectively.